Hey, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Let's just get the elephant out of the room. I have dots on my head. We replaced our ceiling lights with some LEDs and now if I stand perfectly in the lights, I have red, uh, white dots. Anyways, today's recipe is gonna be for an awesome, let me point you down at them. Boom, hoagie rolls. Look at these, aren't those beautiful? Anyways, we use our everyday sandwich bread uh, recipe to make these in our bread machine so that you have time to do other stuff. And they're like crunchy. I don't think I can hear it. They're like the kind of hoagie roll that have an outside crust that like has some like crunch to it. The inside's super good and like soft and they're like going to a really good Italian deli and getting just like the best sandwich of your life. That's what you're going to experience with these. So go make some. If you want to learn how, just keep Today going. I wanted to bring you guys a recipe to show you how we make hoagie rolls. But the best part is we use our sandwich bread recipe to make our hoagie rolls. So I do this in the bread machine. You can do it in a bowl as well. But we do it in the bread machine because um, while the bread machine was cooking, my husband made cooking while it was mixing. My husband made his omelets. I worked on my Etsy orders for the day. I went to the post office, started some laundry, like all that while that was mixing. So it just gives me for the $2 I spent on it at a thrift store. It gives me a lot of opportunity to do a couple other things around the house. That's why I do it. But you can do it in a bowl. It does the same thing. So I have our um, sandwich bread and it's done its thing. It's been through all of its cycles and blah, blah, blah. It's like an hour and a half. I'm just going to take a little bit of all-purpose flour. And I have to just put it on a cutting board. It's just the easiest thing to get to the sink to clean. And we're going to just scrape this out of that onto our cutting board. So it was my birthday. And every time it's my birthday, my husband takes me up to the city and we go to Williams Sonoma. And this year I got to pick, isn't this the prettiest? Like I needed a new one. Our other one was getting a little sad. And so this was my little exciting William Sonoma birthday gift for the year. So our bread dough, I'm just kind of squeezing it out into a tube so that I can get a better judgment of how big these are going to be. So we're going to split it in half and then half, your half. So we're going to end up with eight hoagie rolls, but this is just the easiest way to kind of judge your hoagie roll sizes. If you want to be super particular and weigh it on a scale, you can. Sometimes I do that, but usually not with like this kind of stuff. All right, I'm putting down just a little more flour just to make my work surface easy. Now, normally I use a piece of parchment, a piece of parchment paper. I use a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. But I found these cool things. We're doing like a, we're only making bread at home this year. That was kind of one of our challenges to see if we could do it. And so far, it's February 8th in real life for us, and we've not bought anything. We did buy hot dog buns because I don't know how to make those yet. I'm going to work on that. But um, I got these for stinging cheap. It was a set of two, and we do a lot. We call it the bread. Um, it's a big loaf of French bread, and we butter it up awesome. And So I'm going to use that for this, but I thought I could use it for hoagie rolls today and just see how it turns out. I don't know if it will or not. But So all you do is kind of stretch these out into a rectangle and then you kind of fold your sides in just like when we do sourdough you fold your sides in so now you have your sides folded to the center and then you just roll it kind of tightly that's going to remove all those little air pockets from the yeast that uh, make when you get dough you know how there's like big air holes in it and you're like dude i just wanted bread it removes those we do that and then you kind of just roll it like you would like a piece of Play-Doh when you were a kid, just to get it to steam all together. That's it. Boom. And then I'm just going to set that on our little hoogie roll tray. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do all eight of those the same way. If you want them long and skinny, more like a baguette type of a thing versus like a hoagie roll, you just shape them a little bit differently. But it all ends up the same, basically. Same thing, you're going to rectangle, fold it in half one way, fold it in half the other way, kind of smash it out, and then roll it tight. Again, give it a little 
ends are kind of puffing out a little bit. We're going to pinch those a little bit. So, pinching the ends just a little bit to kind of close them up. But that's, it's going to end up being bread, you guys. Everybody's happy when they have a big hoagie roll sandwich. That's what uh, my son works from home certain days of the week, and he was like annihilating a, a whole loaf of my sandwich bread every time he was home. So I finally thought I'm going to do hoagies because for some reason he only eats one of those where he'll eat two of the other style. Plus, hoagies are delicious, y'all. Okay. I'm just going to plug along and do all eight of these. Tuck my ends in a little bit and then just give it a roll. Boom. Alrighty. So, what you guys been up to lately? Like I said, it was my birthday. And I don't, is it weird? I don't like to make a big stink out of my birthday. Like, it's always weird when people call you that you don't talk to or they text you and you haven't talked to them in two years. And I don't know. And um, so last night, we always, with our family, we don't do gifts. We go to dinner together. And so, it's, I was thinking about it for like a week. I don't know what I want to eat. So we ended up getting hamburgers and milkshakes. That's what we ended up doing. And it was delicious. And it's always fun, um, especially because we know some of our kids will be moving out in the next couple months and stuff. So it's always weird. Like, this could be the last time we all go to dinner as a family while everybody lives at home type of a thing. So we try not to dwell on it. But it's, you, you know, it's there. We all think of it. But with milkshakes, actually malts, because malts delicious. And uh, then we have a tradition... We do this at Christmas too, and um, sometimes we'll do it on birthdays. We go to Dollar General, or no, Dollar Tree. We go to Dollar Tree, and everybody picks something kind of funny for the per person for their birthday. But um, one of our kids accidentally forgot to gift the other kid a Christmas gift, and we didn't even realize, like, when we did our little Dollar Tree, little funny thing, not a real Christmas. And so last night we made him go and pick up Christmas stuff for the other one. But it was just a low-key evening. It was great. I got to work in my greenhouse yesterday, and I just had a good day, and it was a little bit sunny, so it was nice. But yeah, my husband takes me to Atlanta before, usually the weekend before he goes, he says, what do you want to do for your birthday? And um, I always say, I don't know why we do this. I mean, I know why part of it I do it, but every year we go up um, to Atlanta, and my husband lets me drag him to Ikea, which is like a two-hour experience, and usually I just walk out with some new, I get those trivets from there, these guys, I love them, and then they now make them in rectangles, so that was my like exciting thing, like I think we spent $20 at Ikea on trivets, and oh, I got a, a dough scraper, that was the other thing I got, exciting life I have, you guys, and then of course I dragged them to Trader Joe's because I love Trader Joe's. And again, they were out of my Christmas tea, though. I was hoping I'd get, they have one called a Winter Warmer. It's literally the best tea in the entire world. And I was hoping that I would find, because it's just still January, technically, at this point, or February, I thought, well, it's still winter. Maybe they'll still have it. And they didn't. And I was super disappointed because it's literally the best tea in the whole world. But I think. It's kind of spicy. It's like cinnamony. I'm stretching these out a little bit more, some of the ones on our tray. We have... I've done so far. Why does this work for hot dog buns, too? I still have to make those. Um, I have a recipe. I just never have shaped it and done the whole process. So Anyway. So then we bought all the stuff last night to do um, hot fudge Sundays. When we got home, we just bought ice cream. I was going to make hot fudge. And um, we ended up doing malts. So we didn't actually end up doing that. But guess what I get tonight? <laughs> we get hot fudge Sundays. No reason hot fudge Sundays, which are the best. So yeah, we're doing, uh, we're trying not to buy any sandwich bread or bread products. We're going to try to dwindle that by the end of this year to where we're making all of our own. So far we make sandwich bread and now we're, you know, hoagies and stuff like that. But eventually by the end of the year, I want to be full um, tortillas. I want to be where we are making all our own tortillas. And we do a lot of tortillas because we do a lot of Mexican food. Um, I want to be able to do all of our sandwich breads, hoagies, French breads. We do a really good um, 
roll, like a crusty roll. It's kind of like a French one. You spray, you squirt a squirt bottle into the oven while it's cooking, and it changes the crust to this crunchy texture. It's so good. You guys know we do our sourdough, and we do, like, artisan loaves and stuff like that. I'm going to make one of those this afternoon to go with our spaghetti tonight. But um, breadsticks, we do a lot of stuff. But there's a few that we don't. So my goal by the end of this year is to do all those, too. So we'll see. You never know. I may go, you know what, I don't want big bread anymore. I'm over it. Not yet, though. But we have fun. Is there anything that you guys – that was a terrible cross. There we go. Is there anything that you guys like dread making or something you really want to start making from scratch? Let me know. I'm always curious to see like what other people have on their list of like, like I would love to learn how to make croissants or other like things that take hours and hours. I don't have the patience, you guys. <laughs> I can go a mile a minute doing other stuff, but that I'm like, oh my God, I just don't. Yeah. All right. Got one to go. And I love your guys' suggestions. So, like, we did a Mexican rice. We've made it. I mean, my family's made it my entire life out of Herdez. And one of you guys suggested to add a little bit of chicken stock to it instead of just doing the Herdez with rice and water. So we tried it. You guys, I don't know why. I mean, all of our other Mexican rices or Spanish rices, we have added chicken stock to. We never thought to add it to the Herdez rice. And now that we have, I don't think we'll ever go back. It's, it did change it significantly enough that we were like, dude, this is better. So it's funny how little things like that. So we love your suggestions because sometimes they're game changers. Who knew? I'm getting a little sloppy and I'm getting the edges too. Puffy. I'm going to pinch it back in. So I'm getting excited because you guys know our, our garden is um, this big in the greenhouse right now. But um, we have had like 60 degree weather the last two days. So I've been outside like dreaming of what my garden is going to do as we get closer to uh, summer. But today's kind of gloomy. I'm hoping, excuse me, I'm hoping that it burns off. Burns off. That's a California thing today, say. But I'm hoping that it clears up a little bit and I get to get outside again today because we all need our vitamins from the sunshine. Anyways, all I'm going to do is cover this with a towel. By the way, how cute is this? I got my, is it gingerbread? I don't even know how you say it. It's that towel club that I like. Isn't this one so cute? It's got little ladybugs on it. It's kind of Valentine's-y. But um, I'm just going to cover our rolls with that, and I'm going to let them sit for about an hour. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it says the name right there. Right there, gingerbread. Gingy, whatever it is. They have cute ones. They have some bird ones, and like you guys know, we love to watch our birds outside. So all I'm going to do is cover that up and um, let it rise for about 45 minutes to an hour while I go do some other projects, and then we'll come back. I am going to egg wash these ones before I put them in the oven, and uh, we'll have fresh hoagies for lunch. We'll be back. Here's the easy back into the scan pot, right? Yes, yeah. I love it. I'm teaching my 26 year old child today how to wash clothes and do we own a vacuum? Never know what you're going to find here at Little Hill Homestead. <laughs> <laughs> Our hoagie rolls have puffed up beautifully. Some definitely are more hoagie shaped. This one's a little bit more hoagie shaped than some of them, but uh, that's okay. They're going to end up being delicious, so it doesn't matter. I just have an egg that I just whipped up a little bit, and I'm just going to do a quick egg wash. I've got my oven on at 350 degrees. These take about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to do a little egg wash on them. That gives them that pretty shiny look when they come out of the oven. My regular sandwich bread, I just coat with butter when it comes out um, to make it, you know, like a butter top bread. Butter bread, as they say in the South. But um, these ones I like to do a little egg wash. So that's it. We're going to egg wash them really quick. I'm going to have to show you guys the one where we spray the water in and it gives them a really good crust, but that's not this stuff. That's a different stuff. Um, these are more like a puffy hoagie bread. The other ones are more like a French bread sandwich bread, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, all those are good to go. And we're going to pop it in the oven.
Like I said, 350 for about 20 minutes is what we're going to do, and I'll bring you back with the finished results. All right, our bread is ready to come out of the oven. We'll see what we got. Okay, they're hard to grip, but that's okay. All right. Here are our finished hug and rolls. If I can lift this thing, it's got a little bend to it. There they go. They kind of look like hot dog bones, let's be real. <laughs> There's a couple that kind of stuck together, but overall, these are really hot. The bottoms have that little bumple, bumple effect, bumpy effect that you get like when you go to places that have sandwiches. And the top looks like a beautiful. There you go. Let's cut one open and see. You're not supposed to cut bread when it's hot, but guess what? We're going to do it anyways because that's how we roll. Hoagie roll, people. <laughs> Did she really just say that? Yes, she did. All right, let's pick this big old guy down here. So like a lot of times when you go to like certain places, they don't cut all the way through. They kind of do that spreading apart thing. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going almost all the way through. And I'm going to open it up. Oh, look at that beauty. Isn't that pretty? These are going to be delicious, you guys. We're going to go make some sandwiches for lunch on them. And uh, Alexa, stop the timer. These did cook. That was our 20 minute timer. So they went just a tiny bit under. What you really want to do is let these cool all the way um, before you cut into them. That helps keep the um, insides nice and fluffy. So I'm going to pop these out, let them cool, and we're going to make some lunch. But I hope you guys make them. I hope yours look a little more like a hoagie roll versus a hot dog bun. But you know what? They taste like a hoagie roll. That's all that matters. So go make yourself some Hoagie hot dog. Hey, at least now I was saying I didn't know how to make a hot dog bun. I guess I do. I'll have to mess with that too. But um, that would be really good with a brat in it. Mm. All right, maybe we'll do that for lunch instead. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Appreciate you.